Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial let us see how we can create this plane flying scene effect in Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin and Jet Strike Pack. Okay, so I hope you will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So without any further ado let us start this. So here we are in After Effects now let us start this by creating a new composition. Further click on this new composition, go to this preset options, I am selecting HD1080 with a frame rate of 24 and duration of 10 seconds. Let me change to 10 seconds. Background color, let me change to black, okay. nice. Now let us import a cloud image onto this project panel. So here I got a cloud image which I have downloaded from Google that represents an aerial footage or aerial shot of kind. Now select this image and drop it onto this timeline. So here you can see this is way bigger than our composition. Now let us enable 3D for that. Further click on the toggle switches. Enable 3D for that. Now come to here active camera. Click on this active camera go to top view and move it way far behind so just okay. now again come to this active camera Now increase the scaling by simply dragging here like this. Okay. Now let us create a solid layer for element 3D. Further go to this layer options in new solid. Let me rename this to element. Okay. Now go to this effects and presets. If you are not finding this effects and presets, go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for element so this is a third party plugin which we need to download separately select this element and drop it onto this element layer now click on this scene setup so here we got a new window to work in element Ready. so here i will be using this jet strike pack so i will be using this using this plane model here Now let us click on this environment button and load that cloud image. Select that cloud image, open so that the environment reflects on the model and hit OK. Nice, now hit OK. So we got our model here. Now let us create a camera layer. Further go to this layer options, new camera. Let the preset be 35 mm and hit OK. Now select this track Z camera tool. Let us zoom it up. I think depth of field is enabled. Come to this transform camera options. Depth of field off. Okay. Now select this camera tool, unified camera tool. Let me position it here like this. Let me drag it up. So here you can see this image is out of the frame so let us move it aside okay. now be on the frame select your camera tool Expand these options, come to this transform options. Now enable keyframe of this point of interest and position. Move to the last frame and simply rotate this camera angle like this. Again, it is moving above 
let us do one thing let us increase the scaling press as for scaling does increase the scaling here like this let us see this okay, so we got this kind of animation here now let us add some lights so as to match this 3d model with this environment so come to this layer options new light let me select this parallel light and let me pick this white color here at the intensity 150 and hit ok now select this image layer here clouds image layer come to this options material options here you can see accept lights is on just make it off ok Now we come to this light options transform now hold shift key and simply you can move this light here let me increase this intensity bit Now again go to this layer options new sorry layer options new light now create an ambient light let us take this blue here okay. nice. now again once again go to this layer new light now take this parallel light color again take this white Now come to this top view. Move this here. That's it. Change to active camera. So here you can see this third light acts as a fill. So let me rename this to fill. Okay, now let us see this. Nice. Now select this element layer, come to this render settings, ambient occlusion, enable ambient occlusion, and intensity. Let me change to 6. Now let us animate these turbines. So select this element layer, move to this turbine options. So beyond the first frame, enable keyframe of this turbine, move to the last frame and change this value to 50. So here you can see the turbines are getting rotated. So now again scroll down to this motion blur. Change this motion blur from composition settings to on and shutter angle let me change to 250 and motion blur samples let me change to 80. Okay. So let us see this. So here you can see we got the smooth animation. Now finally select this element layer, come to this group one options group utilities expand this create group null and select create so we got a group null created here so this 3d model is now attached to this group so let me show you so here you can see we can move this 3d model using by this group null only here okay now move forward in time until two seconds come to this transform options enable keyframe of this zero rotation move to the last frame and simply increase this value here like this 20 let us see this 
Now select this element layer, come to this effects and presets and look for wiggle. Select this wiggle position and drop it onto this element. Let the wiggle speed change 2.5 and wiggle amount 25 pixels. Okay, let us see. So here you can see we got a bit of wiggle movement to our plane model. Okay. Let us So in this way we can create this plane flying scene in Adobe After Effects using Elementary plugin. So I hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new please like, share and subscribe my channel and support me. So we will meet in the next video. Until then signing off. Take care. Bye.